Hey guys, it's Sam. I got a request on how to change the icon colors from clip art files that you can just find off of Google. So I went ahead and did a few just to show you what they look like and they start from easiest and go down to hardest. And I just wanted to show you a range of what you can actually work with. These ones on the left here are just the clip art files that I opened from Google. And then these ones are the ones that I've changed. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the shopping cart and the washing machine because those are the easiest ones. Um, the trash can and the airplane are a little bit more difficult and time consuming so I can make a separate video for an advanced tutorial if people would like on how I did those ones. So let's get started. And I have a video on how to import files into Silhouette, so if you don't know how to do that, go ahead and watch that video first. And if you don't know how to use the trace window, go ahead and watch the video, the Studio Tools tutorial video I have on the trace window, because both, both of those will be essential um, in doing this tutorial. So go ahead and just open up your first image. And I'm starting with the easier one, which is the shopping cart. And what you want to do is come up to this trace window right here and you want to hit select trace area and just cover the entire thing and these lines don't look very straight to me so go ahead and play with them until you can get them just how you want them and you want to fill in the whole thing those look a little bit better like I said if you don't know how to use these settings or haven't played around with them I would strongly suggest you watch my tutorial on how to use the trace window before you try this on your own so go ahead and hit trace after you've gotten the thickness that you've wanted and when you move your image aside, you now have a perfect replica of it that you can um, manipulate how you want. So go ahead and just color it in however you want. And you now have an icon that you can print. So now I'm going to show you how to do the washing machine. And this one's a little bit co more complicated. Um, it has all of these separate parts that you're going to want to color separately instead of one continuous um, one continuous image. And it also has this background on it that we don't want. So I'm just going to shrink it down so it's a little bit easier to work with. So first what we're going to want to do is get rid of this background, this border and this white area around it. So come up to the trace window and select trace area again. And you're just going to trace the machine because that's all we want. We don't want that background. And you want to make sure these lines are really clean because it's going to cut it out. And the more black that it leaves on the background, the more it's going to make the lines curved and not very straight. So go ahead and turn your scale all the way down. And when I was playing with this before I made this video, I found the settings for this would be were the best if I turn the scale down and then turned my high pass filter down a little bit and this will make the edges a little bit straighter. So when you get the um, edges perfectly straight how you want it, just go ahead and hit trace and detach. And what that's going to do is remove this and there's still quite a bit of black around these edges and you can play with it more so um, it doesn't remove as much. So just go ahead and select that and delete it. We don't need it anymore. And now we want to trace this again. So select trace area and highlight the entire thing. And again, I'm going to turn my scale all the way down because we want these yellow cut lines or trace lines to be as thin as we can possibly get them. That looks good. So when you have the thickness that you want, go ahead and hit trace. And when you move it, you'll see you now have a washing machine but we don't want these inside lines here so as of right now this is one whole piece and I don't want that so I'm going to right click it and release compound path and that's going to make each of these lines a separate piece that we can manipulate so I'm going to get rid of this inside line because the outside is the edge of the machine and that's what I want I'm going to get rid of the outside of the circle oops, oops not the inside the outside of these circles I'm going to get rid of the inside box on this one, the outside circle on that one, and the inside on that one. And now we have our machine. And these are all separate pieces, so you'll want to color all of them differently. So I'm just going to color in these as white. I'm going to have a blue washing machine.
And when you're done with that, you can select them all and just change the line color as one big unit. And if you don't want a line color, that's fine. Just make it translucent. And now you have a washing machine. Now I'm just going to group this back together so it doesn't move. And there we have it. So now we have our washing machine and our shopping cart. And like I said, I'm going to make an advanced tutorial on how to do the trash can and the airplane because they're a little bit more complicated and time consuming. Um, again, if you don't know how to use the trace window or haven't played around with it, watch my video on how to use that and also watch my video on how to import your own files into Silhouette and that should help you out a lot with this. So I hope this has been really helpful for you guys and please stay tuned for my advanced video. If you have any suggestions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks guys!